About time for a life lesson. Very important life lesson. Like one of the top five life lessons you could learn. How to skip rocks. Don't you love it when the good guys win? What's up everybody? We are at the Yee Farm today. We're shooting our spring line. New tanks, new shirts, new hats. So that'll be out really soon. You can follow me along. Just calm and regular. Okay. She's just like out for a walk and then it's just changing. Shirt two. Yeah. We're here with Parker and Polly, working their magic. All right, this is shirt, I think, four. This one's my favorite. It's super soft. It is desert pink. I've been working on these for a few months uh, with Parker and Tyler and trying to come up with designs that you guys are gonna like. And we've gotten a lot of comments from y'all that y'all want more color and different sizing, so we're bringing that to y'all this spring and summer. All right, so this one is a unisex fit, which both guys and girls, the last one I had on was a men's, a men's size, which is crazy, but I wanted that color. So these are true to size, this is a small. The other one, you might have to size down to get your size. All right guys, that is a wrap on our spring shoot. I guess by the time you guys watch this, it will already be out, possibly. It might come out the day that you watch it. But we will link it down below, yeeapparel.com. Go get you some new merch. We've got a ton of new hats, a bunch of new shirts, a bunch of new tanks. I've been working on this for a little while for you guys and I'm really excited about it. I wanna bring you guys more girl stuff that you want, more kid stuff that you want. Comment down below what else you wanna see, what other colors you want. I am gonna go grab the kids from school. By the time you guys watch this, the new line will already be out. So I'm gonna link it down below, yeeapparel.com. Go get you some stuff. We'll see you next time. All right, we're gonna go down here. We're gonna film some, the new spring line. That's what we're doing today. And it's actually spring weather. So I'm gonna get in this truck. I'm gonna drive down to the, to the back pond and Paul is going to drone me without a bird attacking. Hopefully. Meanwhile, last episode, I lost that drone. I actually bought another one got it in the mail then it was broken upon arrival literally so now i bought a third one and now i'm shipping that other one back to amazon dji mavic yo mavic dji what's up with your drones i'm just kidding it's all my fault if you want to send me the one i'll take it though we got a bunch of them right now we're filming the new spring line that's going to be coming out march 2nd which this Smith episode may be out after that. So the idea is he's on his way fishing and each time something happens on his way to the pond, um, his hat and his shirt change. So it's just a cool way to feature the new, the new stuff. So hopefully it'll turn out good. Ready? I'm good, I got it. Just get it low, I'll grab it. I'll grab it. Okay. Back in my closet again, and I'm not crying. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> so what can we talk about? Granger kind of wanted me to come on and every now and then how he just goes on his when he's on tour and he just gets on his bus and starts talking about something. I'm gonna try to do that either each episode or every other episode. So what could we talk about today? I guess one of the things Granger said was, um, you know, how do I feel when Granger's on tour? How do I handle him being gone all the time? And, and especially now that we're going through what we're going through, how do I handle that? Uh, I have always been a very independent girl, woman. I've never needed to be by my partner 24 seven. I think we just have such a committed relationship that um, we're secure in ourselves and, and we don't have to talk all the time on the phone and, and we don't have to text all day long and FaceTime all day long and, and just, doesn't mean I love him any less or he loves me any less. It just, you know, that's just how our relationship is and it works for us. How I handle him being gone all the time, I think it's just always been a part of us. You know, whenever we got, whenever we got together, he was already doing this, obviously not at this level, but he was already a musician and he was already touring and um, it's just what I signed up for. 
and I think also just having the babies. You know, we had London a year after we were married and kind of every couple years after that we had kids and they keep me busy and, and keep me doing fun things with them all the time. And so that's what we do. I just, I do what I do. I am a mama. We, we had a lot of crazy fun and we still do that. And I'm super busy a lot of the time. And now, you know, I'm helping the kids in their school. I volunteer at their school, trying to get back to my crafting. I was also kind of thinking of doing something. I could either still do this, like these closet confessionals and just come on here on the Smith's channel and talk about something that's kind of on my mind or on my heart. Or I could, maybe I was thinking about doing something that Granger does. We do our questions together, but now he does his podcasts, his podcast questions. He videos those on his channel separately. I could also do the same thing if there are any females or even any males or kids that want to ask me questions. Not that I'm like an expert on anything, but I'm, I love to give, you know, my feelings and my opinions and be vulnerable with you guys. And I was kind of thinking of a cute little name, something that goes with A. And since I did Still I Rise on my arm, I was thinking maybe Arise with Amber. So we all arise in the morning. I could do it in the morning and come on here and answer your questions or talk to y'all. And Or if there's just something that's on my heart, I could just spew it out. So if that's something that you guys are interested in, comment down below, let me know. Also, <clears throat> maybe think of another fun name for it. I don't know. I was just thinking an A and an A, Arise with Amber. But if you guys come up with something more amazing, let me know, comment below. And I would love to do that with you guys. I also have a lot of comments to do like makeup tutorials and hair tutorials and get ready with me. So if that is something that you guys would wanna do, let me know and I will do that. Again, I'm not a makeup artist, obviously, and not a hairstylist, but I could just show you guys my routine or show you guys what products I use if you're interested in that. Uh, let me know and maybe we could do that. Get some stuff for you ladies. What's up guys? So we're gonna do some skipping rocks. Do you know how to do that? I know you take small rocks or medium rocks. Not like that. Like, like oh a flat rock? Like this? Oh flat rocks, flat rocks. That's right. And what do you this? do with it? Like this? And you throw it like a softball Uh almost. You look for a rock, nice flat one, like hey. Trying to do a lot of splashes. Here, take this one. Look right here. See this oh, one? Yeah. Watch, watch, wait, hang on. Watch me. Watch me. Okay. And hold it sideways like that. Right. And you kind of, you go like this. Right. Okay. Well, hang on a second. Watch me do it. Okay. You're going to go like this and you go sideways. So watch this. Ready? Whoa. Oh, it about to another side. That's called skipping. That's the point. Yeah. Well, you tossed it, when you toss it like that, it gives it a little, it just goes in. So you gotta do more of a like this? flick, okay. like that. No, look, no. flick. No, look, you went up. So it's gotta be a flick. Okay, so this one's like basically, see it's flat on that side? So you take it like this and you get a little like this. That was actually terrible. Yeah. It's actually kind of hard to hold the camera and do it. Here we go. Watch this. This will go for sure. So then once you learn how, then you could see who could skip the farthest. This is a great one right here. This is a great one. Hey, Lincoln, don't do make it go it? up. How do you hold it? Like this. I did it. You did it. I did it. Perfect. How do you do it? So close. You like this. Really oh my gosh. How are you finding good rocks? Well, they're everywhere. There's a million rocks out here. By the way, you know where we are right now? Right where Donnie was parked by the lake. Hey, look. This is a good boat. Yep. So it had too much height to it. Oh, I, thought, I actually thought that was going to go. See, sometimes they're flat on the bottom, so you can go like this. Oh, my gosh. I think a tiny skip. This hand, okay. Actually, flip it right on that side. And you want to hold it like that, okay. And you're going to go like that. 
Like that. Just like you're such a good baseball thrower, throw it like that. Yeah, it can't turn over. So, this is a good one right here, okay? Yeah. You ready? <laughs> <laughs> I have two hands. I can make it go far. Watch this one. Let's see. I'll get this one real far. Oh, there's three. That was like seven. Yeah. So this is. Is this a good one? Oh, I did it. You did. Good. The wiggle dance yeah. too. <laughs> wanted to talk about the River Kelly Fund and things that we are going to help. You know, we gave, uh, we donated to Dell Children's the uh, the first time we sold the River shirt, we donated those proceeds to Dell Children's. I'm going, we are going to pick a certain nonprofit maybe each month or each quarter to donate to. I'm thinking this first time is going to be the park that I've been talking to you guys about. It's a natural play. Uh, we're hoping to get it to be an all abilities park. It depends on how much money we raise for that because there's certain kind of surfacing and, and turf and not turf, surfacing and wheelchair access or those kinds of things that cost a lot of money. And uh, we want it to be all abilities, but a, that's going to probably be about $1.5 million to build that park. Um, we're slowly raising the money for that. I'm just on a committee for that. Um, I would love to make a big chunk donated from the River Kelly Fund for that. There's, it's going to be a memorial park. It's my friend who lost her son um, in an accident. Uh, she created, she's trying to build this park from the ground up. Um, this is her vision. Uh, it's the Playful Child Foundation, and it's all about children and play and outdoor play. And River loved to be outside. That boy would, he, I had to drag him inside most of the time. He loved dirt. He loved playing. He loved parks. He loved the sunshine. So I would love to give a piece of the River Kelly Fund to that. And I know that that's a kind of a local thing. So if you're in Florida or, you know, England or something, you might not feel good about donating to that cause because that's here and that might not feel close or personal to you. But that's kind of where my heart is right now, just for that first donation. Next month or next quarter, we would maybe love to help veterans out or, gosh, there's so many things on my, on my heart that we want to help. So let me know what are some places that you guys would love to see the River Kelly Fund donate to. You know, I would love to help education in schools. Lots of different areas. I just have so many ideas. I can't, they're like firing off of my brain right now. So, but comment down below, let us know areas that you would love to see us help. And I would love to do that. So let me know your thoughts on the park too. Is this, is this something being so far away that you, you wouldn't benefit obviously from donating or is that cool with y'all? If we do something that's kind of local this first round, let me know. You feel a little disappointed? Cause you couldn't skip one. I was like a teenager when I skipped my first rock. But you could throw a baseball hard. That's what matters. And a football. Wait. Is he going to try it? I get, he's going to try it? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. He, he's not giving up yet. He didn't give up yet. Go, wait, wait, wait. Go closer to the water. Closer to the water. Closer. Closer. And get it low, buddy. Get it low. Oh, I think it skipped a little bit. You could also do it like a frisbee, I guess, if you want, like this. As soon as I put the camera down, you just skipped one. Like, how many times was that? Three. Yes. Do it again. Here. Yeah. You got this. Yeah! On film! Dude, hey. Dude. I'm ready to go see the documentary. Alright. Hey, sitting! I just skipped! It's official. You're both skippers. It's funny now. Now that Lincoln got a taste of it, now he's trying to teach them. It's like they're teaching each other. Watch this. Giant rock. Give me that! Everybody get out of that. the way and see how many times we can skip it. You ready? Whoa, dude. 
Not many six-year-olds that could skip like that. Whoa, and you know what? We saw the whole thing on the Smith. We saw you learn the whole thing, how to skip rocks, and London too. Yep. Yep. So now you'll be able to watch the Smiths Let's try to skip this. for years to come and see when you learn how to skip a rock. That's why we have this channel, guys. That's why we have this channel. Good morning. My children are in the back being crazy, screaming like crazy. I, um, I promise they're okay, they're playing. It's amazing how God puts people in your life before you know that you're gonna need them. So, you know, we've talked about our faith a lot. Um, a couple years ago, God placed a wonderful teacher in my life who then uh, we joined together to join a Bible study of incredible, incredible women um, that I was gonna need in this time of my life of what we're going through. So one of the amazing women, um, she hosts a MOPS group, which is Moms of Preschoolers. And um, she has asked me to come and speak to all of the young moms about our story and just where I am and any sort of advice that I can give. I am so sorry they are so loud. Let me go see what they're doing first, hold on. What are you guys doing? We're playing. You guys are crazy. Okay, I'm closing it. I'm closing the door. <sighs> Loud. But they're having fun. And they're not on their phones, so that's good. So, as I was saying, I am going to go and speak at the Mops Group. And that's going to be in about a week or so. And I've got a list, a lot of, uh, list of questions from my friend Laura. And um, we're just going to go and try to give whatever I can give. And we've been asked to speak now multiple times after River's Passing. And it's always very... Nerve wracking. Here they come. <laughs> Guys, I'm trying to record a video. Oh my goodness. What are you doing? I need you to help. You need me to help with what? I need you to help. When life gives you lettuce. When life gives you lettuce. It's lemons. I need it. I need it. I need it. Okay. I'll come back. Close the door. Okay. Back to what I was saying. Anytime that someone asks us to speak, I am not a speaker. I still get nervous, probably like any any of you guys, because you know, as I told Granger when we to, when we went to talk to the church, you're trying to speak life into people and. And like Granger said, I know that they're there to hear whatever I have to say, whether it's whether it sounds dumb or not. But it's still nerve-wracking. You want to be able to use your words wisely. I want to not say um 50,000 times like I always do. I want to be able to have the Holy Spirit come through me and speak whatever needs to be said. And that's all that I can pray for. So that's all I'm going to hope for when I talk to these moms. Um, I know some of them are, are a little bit younger than me, and it's actually at the preschool where all of my children went and where River was supposed to go, so that's going to be kind of kind of um, bittersweet, I guess, going back there and, and seeing the church and the school and the hallways and stuff, so don't really know what I'm going to say, but I'm just going to have whatever comes through me flow through me, so wish me luck. Absolutely beautiful day in Central Texas. Decided to take out the Ranger and the and the two go-karts, do a little riding. And we're back out to the lake today because Lincoln is convinced that he is a professional rock skipper. Aren't you, buddy? Yeah. No, that's not a good path. Yeah, that's not a good path. That doesn't lead anywhere. Everywhere leads somewhere. That's some good advice. That's some good Smith's magic right there from London. Everywhere leads somewhere. So then, how do you make that a philosophy? Everywhere leads somewhere, but, everywhere leads somewhere, but, what else would you say? It's not always the place you want to go. <laughs> Never mind. Here it is. I don't want to go back up though. Why? Because like the growing. You have growing pains? I have growing Why? pains, but I'm fine now. Really. What does that mean? You're like puffy jacket and shorts right now? You said to get a jacket. Okay. This time I finally did. Hey guys, look! 
What? Live like Riv. You think you're living like Riv right now? Yeah, exploring. You think you're living like Riv right now? Yeah, going faster. Going faster? We have some news we're going to tell the Smiths about this lake, aren't we? Not right now, but what lake? about where we are. Hey guys, look. We'll tell them later. Yeah, it's almost uh, it's bass spawning season. You want to catch some bass? Yeah. Yes, sir. Oh, such a pretty day. It's seriously like 70 degrees right now. Let's see. Let's see what my watch says. 73. Are you sure that there was snow in Texas? There was snow a few weeks ago. Not a few weeks ago. Yeah. No? A few episodes ago. A few episodes ago. Is that how we look at our timeline of life now by episodes? So I did a little, uh, I did a little acoustic show, acoustic radio show in Houston last night, and we took the van. It was just me, Dusty, Todd, Chris, and Will and Matt. Guys, I'm exhausted, absolutely exhausted. Yeah, because you went at midnight and came back at two in the morning. No, I came back at four in the morning. I'm just not, uh, not conditioned like I used to be in the old van days. Yeah. Good job. Hey, there's Yeah, that's it's easier to skip rocks if it's calm. Let me try this one. <laughs> Whoa. You did it! I did it! Alright. Man, I never would have thought you guys would be like loving skipping rocks as much as you do. Oh look, that's so flat. That's a good one, let me see. Yes. <laughs> oh man, I just love these days. Lazy, it's actually not a lazy Sunday, it's a lazy Saturday. Last night was Friday. I'm gonna skip a little bit more. We're gonna fire up these go-karts, fire up the Ranger, and head on back to that old road home. What's up everybody? I'm back in my closet again, and I'm not crying. So, baby steps, it's a good, it's a good thing. I wanted to come on and just say, Thank you so much for allowing me. I appreciate all of your kind words and your comments and your uplifting thoughts. And I like that even though it's not really a safe safe space for me to do that because it is on the internet, but I like to feel that it's a safe space because I'm in my closet and I am just expressing my feelings to you guys. And in a way that is kind of therapy for me and it is helping in my healing to talk about our story and to talk about our feelings and to try to be as vulnerable and as real as I can. If that in some small way helps somebody else that may be going through something or a friend of theirs that's going through something that they can share our videos with, then I am happy to do that. I'm happy to be myself and just try to be as honest as I can. Um, so I just want to say thank you and it means a lot all of your sweet words and your kind messages and I just appreciate it we try to read all of them even though I can't respond to all of them um, I am grateful so thank you for allowing me to be a crazy woman crying in my closet and I'm not gonna apologize for crying anymore I'm just gonna cry if I need to cry and I'll laugh when I want to laugh and just let any emotion that comes to me flow through I learned to drive out here My grandpa let me steer I still hear Both hands on the wheel Talk to God on them We get lost on them Find our way to a rocky mountain top on them We get stuck on them Fall in love on them Rough around the edges just like us That's why I love dirt roads Make the world turn real slow Feel the gravel letting go Stirring up my soul That's why I love running wild Through country miles They're out of style They take a while But every winding ride Will lead me home That's why I love dirt roads Whoa, whoa, whoa Chasing a painted sky And river winding curves Can't help but feel like my Heaven here on earth Yeah Out here in the 
quiet. I know you hear me. The stars are smiling.